Sonequa, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time on this very exciting yeah. Paramount Plus yeah. uh, beginning in the We're UK, here. which is very good. Although I feel, uh, is it wrong to say, I feel like Tom Cruise is paying for Paramount, everything <laughs> Paramount rise with Top Gun, right? Top Gun's making so much money. So it is. He's paid for the free coffee. Yeah, thank exactly. Him next time. Exactly. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. You know. <laughs> success. Um, let's talk about Star Trek. Yes. You're five seasons in now. Did you anticipate when you first started that even though Star Trek has such a big following that you guys would get to have the run that you've had so far? Oh my goodness. Well, I certainly hoped. I certainly hoped that we would, you know, because Trek is Trek is Trek and Trek is a big deal and it has been for a very long time. And so you anticipate that you can be welcomed into the franchise and welcomed into the hearts of people and you hope that you can do it justice and, and, and stick around. And I'm just, I'm very grateful that we have. I'm very grateful that we have and grateful to be here, um, you know, launching in the UK and in other countries and territories later this year, and so on. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that because I think that uh, I think that the message of Trek has always been globally celebrated, and and that has to continue. It has to. Yeah. When you take me back to when you first started, when you first read the character and the scripts and what they were trying to do with this version of the show, what was your initial kind of lure, and did you expect your character to go on? The journey that she has because there's so much has happened to her in the five so years much, and ups yeah. and downs and overs and unders and everything that's right between. ups and downs overs and unders that's exactly right a lot of change yeah. and permanent change at that there's something about permanent change in a story that really appeals to me and fascinates me you know um it's one thing to be affected by something that happens but then just kind of bounce back to your neutral but it's another thing to completely change as a person um and for that to be who you now are um and to see it manifesting in all these ways. Um, but in the very beginning, you know, I was still on Walking Dead and a lot of people thought that I left Walking Dead to come to Star Trek Discovery. That's not what happened. I was, I was actually on my way out of Walking Dead already. I was shooting those last few episodes as Sasha. And, um, and then I heard about Star Trek. I heard about Star Trek Discovery, uh, that it was coming back to TV, first of all, that it was gonna be digitally streamed and that it was gonna be hyper serialized. And I was like, whoa. That's that's different, you know. It's it's not going to be sort of like a, you know, buttoned up episodes. Um, it's going to be like a novel told in chapters. And and I said, oh my goodness, what would that look like in Trek? And you know, that's that's probably going to be really phenomenal. And then I knew that they, I found out that they wanted it to be a wanted a black woman to be at the helm. They were really adamant about that, and I respected that. So yeah, I um I had high hopes from the from the very beginning. I felt a great deal of pressure, but I had high hopes. So yeah. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. I mean culturally the the show from its beginnings, even more so now as it's gone on, has has, mm. has done so much for not just the Trek community, but in terms of T V and, and putting forward like you say you at the front of this, yeah. of this one and everything else in between. How important is a show like this? Because its legacy has just got stronger and stronger and it's become even more than what it began when it was when it was Shatner and Neil that's Wayne. that's right that's right and that's I think that's baked in right and I, I think that it's um it's baked in but it also uh, it, it requires an acceptance of, of that duty and that responsibility to continue pushing the needle forward and continue innovating continue um, growing and maturing so that we can look like the society that we that, that, that we're in so that we can represent um, and that's that's always been the case and as our world changes it's it, it requires consistent engagement and consistent uh, risk taking um, acts of courage you know, on the page and in the application of it as well, in the making of it. Um, so I, I, I just appreciate that whatever it may do, however it may positively affect uh, people, because of all of the diversity, because of all of the strides forward, however small it may be, I'm, I'm just grateful to be a part of it. Are you able to keep up with all the timelines? Because there's a lot of Oh, variables yeah. now, particularly now Patrick Stewart's oh, yeah. back and that's right. talk of Chris Pine coming back for another uh -huh. show. Are you able yeah. to keep up? Do they, is there like a 
Bible of, <laughs> of, of where, where you sit and everything. Yeah, you know what? It does kind of get, it, it gets baked in. It gets baked in. Um, because even Discovery, we've gone all over the timeline, yeah. right? Um, starting in 2256, 10 years before TOS, and then jumping ahead, you know, after any other Trek, uh, 3188, and where every decision we make is canon, suddenly it's canon everything and that's so um liberating and humbling and it happens all the time on set where we go okay so what should we do with this particular thing and we're like well let's establish it right now because what we do will become canon um since we're in this new time uh, so, you know, I think that all of that gets baked in. And then now that we're so far ahead, it's, it's easier because you know, everything else is behind you, at least in terms of the timeline, you can at least know that it's like, okay, well, Picard and then some, yep. And got it. You know, <laughs> have they talked to you about the possibility of you guys doing a film because in the history of Star Trek, yeah. The shows are spun off into a film. But like you say, your show is slightly different in the way that it's serialized and everything else. Have they talked about maybe doing a feature length movie okay. or maybe something on Paramount Plus now that the yeah. ability is there to maybe do something a little bit more yeah. elongated? Right, right. Well, I mean, we talk about lots of things, right? We talk about, I, I'm, I'm privileged to be in these conversations, especially as a producer now um, on the show. And so we we talk about a lot of stuff. And I, I you know, I might have heard a word or two. I might have heard a word or two. It would be exciting. It would be exciting to see. I don't know. I don't think it's, you know, I think it's just in talks at this point, if I'm to be honest. Um, but I know that it would be, I think that'd be really cool. Oh, I think, yeah. Yeah. I think, you, I think you guys deserve your own. Thank you. Your own film, that would be good. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely pleasure. Thank you for you. yours. You so nice to meet you too. You too. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.